Hey, you guys, this is D Edwards, and I hope that you are having an amazing day. I am the ambassador for Alabama for this amazing association. I want to talk to you guys very briefly about how to onboard a successful tax team. In this video, I want to give you some key pointers, some things to think about, things that you may need to gather from your uh, from your team in order to make to, to make sure that there is clarity, to make sure that there is no confusion. Because what I do know that being in the tax industry, that there is a lot of confusion. There's a lot of mishap. There's a lot of deception when it comes to payroll and paying people. So I want to make sure um, that we are onboarding our team successfully and we're onboarding them correctly. So thank you guys so much for tuning in um, and thank you so much for tagging someone to let them know that we are here. So I want to go ahead and get started. Um, when you are bringing on people, I know that um, it is it is important that you look for individuals who exhibit a certain type of characteristics because if they exhibit a certain type of characteristics, especially if you are bringing them in as an independent contractors, people are attracted to to the charisma of people, right? And so you want to make sure that you are that you are bringing on people who have the charisma or who who can also be a positive reflective tax repair of your brand, okay? All right. So a few things that you will need to gather from this individual is one, you want to make sure that you have an application on file for them. You want to have a picture ID, social security card, and a completed W-9. And you need to keep an em employee or independent contractor file. Why is this information uh, uh, important? It's important because if your files are ever audited, you want to let the IRS know that you are not just allowing Joe Blow to to work under your Ethan, that you're actually having a process in place that you are following. So um, it is important to know the history of the type of people that you are or you are hiring. Let's say that you brought on someone on your team and you didn't have them to complete an application process. What if this person is is um, have uh, some type of uh, uh, like identity theft. What if what if they were involved in identity theft? Do you guys know that this is against like the due diligence? <laughs> process as an EFIN holder. So you want to just make sure that you have an application process on file. Picture ID because you want to make sure that they are who they say they are. You want to have the social security card on file because when completing a W-9, you want to make sure that that information is correct as well. Because if you are hiring as an independent contractor at the end of the year, these representatives, they should be receiving a 1099 from your company, right? And so we all know know if that if we put the wrong information on a W-9 that the IRS will send us a letter back uh, letting us know that the information that has been submitted is incorrectly. So it's important that you have just these basic information on file for your clients. I mean, for your tax preparer. Next, it's important that you also have payroll in writing. Yes, payroll in writing. And so what does this mean? This means that people are absolutely clear as to whether or not they are an employee or if they are a contractor, they are clear about their pay. They're clear as to when they are going to get paid. This information is very imperative because there are times where people uh, that they're working for uh, tax companies and and they are not clear as as to their pay, which causes a lot of confusion in many tax offices. So make sure that people are clear and to protect you and to protect your people, put it in writing, have it uh, lined out, make sure that it's clear. And so because it's going to be clear, you're going to also give them a contract like like you're going to have it in writing, just have a contract. And in that contract, you're going to make sure that you have the non-disclosure agreement that's attached to your contract. You're going to make sure that they understand when they're going to get paid, how they're going to get paid, the method that's going to be used to get paid. Like this information is very important. Important. They need to know if they're going to get paid like every Friday or if they're going to get paid every other Friday. They need to know if incentives are included with their base pay. They need to know how they can um, how they can make more money. All I'm saying is just make sure you are clear with your people when it comes to pay. All right. And then also something else that you need to have in writing is your security 
policy. This is something that you guys need to have in writing in their file. So again, you're going to have their application, picture ID, social security card. You're going to have the W-9. You're going to have their contract. You're going to have um, also, also a security uh, policy in place because this is required by the IRS for us to have and to discuss a security policy with everyone who works under our EFIN number. So make sure you have your security policy in place. Okay. All right. Next, you also want to, and I am just protecting those of you all who are an EFIN holder. You want to also make sure that you have any, uh, any required training. You want to make sure that is something that can be validated. So in other words, if you're going to provide due diligence training, make sure that you have your people to sign something saying that they receive due diligence training on this date, they don't have any questions, and you put that in your file, okay? Uh, a few things that we do with our team is we create our own due diligence process. So we make sure that I, I don't care how long you've been in the tax industry. One, you're going to have to go through the training that I provide. Two, you're going to have to follow our due diligence process. Okay, you're going to receive something in writing that said that you fully understand what the due diligence process is. We make all of our people receive continuing education credits. And then also we make them take the EITC due diligence that uh, that the IRS provide is free. So make sure that your people, they complete that training. All of this is important. Why? Because you're an Ethan holder. And so when you're an Ethan holder, you are just letting the IRS know, like if they were to ever come in and audit you, you're letting them know, hey, I got a process in place and I am following that process and I take all of my people through it. So I don't care if your sister, your brother, your auntie, your cousin works for you. You want to make sure that you are taking each contractor, each employee through the exact same process. OK. All right. So these are some of the key things that I wanted to share with you guys and I I hope that it was uh, beneficial to you all. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a fantastic day. Toodles for now.